Hello, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> hey. Um, my name is Alex Slomov. I work at Altoros. And uh, there's my logo, and there's logo of Altoros. And <laughs> I worked with Bosch for almost three years, and it was quite a time, and uh, I had lots of stories about it to tell, but the time frame is very short, and I'm afraid that we need to move, it, uh, move this discussion to the next, uh, next sessions and after party. I would be happy to talk with you about technical uh, implementations of, of all features I will mention today, uh, but it will, would be impossible to, uh, to describe them uh, right now, and I, I feel sorry about this. Anyway, uh, I also wanted to say thank you, for, thank you all for staying, uh, for surviving all this uh, uh, summit and being here talking about this perfect tool, uh, uh, and uh, and also thank you all organizers uh, that uh, that give me this opportunity to be with you and to make a talk with you finally. I got the slides. <laughs> okay. Uh, so from a very, very long time ago, I met Bosch the, for the first time and I saw its logo that it's not, that is not official logo, but still it is on Wiki page and you know, you, you think I kind of, uh, kind of, uh, you kind of take it as a as official, and here is it. If you don't know, this is little shell. And uh, while I was not familiar with uh, Bosch, I was afraid of of this logo because because I thought that I will find pearl inside of this uh, product. <laughs> but still, it was ruby. And <laughs> 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 thank you. Um, so after I get, got acquainted with this product, uh, I liked this uh, the way uh, this logo uh, the the way this logo is done because you know this is shell and it uh, hides something and you never know what it is and you know uh, because of the speed how, of how Bosch uh, is developed and evolved uh, you can go to the same court uh, in a few, during two weeks, and it will be completely rewritten. Re and that makes Bosch something like a good book. So uh, when you open it another time, you'll find something interesting there, and uh, you will find another clever, uh, clever thought, uh, and you can learn from it a lot. So, uh, so, uh, for those who just starting to work with Bosch, I need to say that there, there, are, there are lots of uh, cute, uh, cute things inside of this pearl, inside of this uh, uh, shell. Uh, but also, there are quite dangerous things. So, this was my uh, my feeling when I implemented uh, CPI uh, before uh, external CPI. Uh, mechanism worked, was implemented. So I'm here to talk about Bosch 2.0 and uh, this version, uh, this, this bus around this version uh, made me, uh, give, give me a desire, gave me a desire to wrote a bot for Slack to answer to answer the questions about what, what's Bosch 2.0 because in uh, Bosch uh, Slack channel there are uh, every every month such uh, every week such questions arrive arrive, arrive. and I fr first uh, time I hear this term was uh, from Onsi. Uh, there is his talk, and if you haven't seen it, uh, you you just uh, need to do it right now. You can skip my session. Uh, you will okay okay <laughs> run. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> so, 
uh, after I heard uh, this term for first time, I was wondering what is behind this uh, this uh, second uh, this number two here. So it was a very large question for me, uh, and uh, I was wondering how how version how versions are created in uh, Bosch. How uh, is there any philosophy behind it, and uh, why we have why we need to to, to to have this second version after you know 3,000 releases after the first one. So the current version is uh, uh, 1.3232, and that's you know large number. So I'm, I'm not quite sure that they haven't changed it uh, since I made these slides yesterday. So don't believe me on the world. Don't rely on my words. Still. I have my personal feeling, and I, 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 I'm feeling like I have an idea uh, of this versioning, and to my mind, it should be uh, ended on 1.6180. It's, you know, it's a good, a good number, uh, number that describes golden ratio. <coughs> so. Uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you that I have feeling in my in my brain that there there will no, there will no be released 2.0. There will be released with this number. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> so the when you look at how Bosch evolves, it uh, it makes you feel that you look uh, on some kind of evolution process here, and that's really amazing how uh, how it can uh, go, go so fast and so far. And uh, there are several tools and approaches and uh, things that I wanted to tell you about this evolution process. Uh, first of all, this uh, evolution is uh, continuous and you, you will never get uh, another Another release uh, with uh, plenty of features in it uh, that are new for you, but features uh, are added one by one, st step by step, and you'll never notice when you'll come to uh, to Bosch 2.0. So another thing is um, Bosch Notes project. So uh, this is a project that was created by uh, so-called Cardinal of Bosch, uh, representative of Bosch team in open source world, as I take him. Uh, and uh, you can find a lot of interesting stuff about plans and uh, about what should be done there. So I will place these slides on my speaker deck and you'll be able to get this link. And I, I think that it is extremely useful to uh, go, th go through these notes to get idea of direction where we go. And also we can influence this uh, uh, these direction by creating pull requests to this project or creating issues. If you have something in mind, just, just put issue, create issue in this project and it will be re reviewed. So, after then, the second really great uh, driving force of, uh, of the progress here is uh, concourse. If you don't know it, run from my section and try it right now, because it's a it's really amazing thing. I can't imagine anything that it, can, it can't do. So it can uh, post Slack messages, it can write you mail, uh, you, it can brew coffee. At, <laughs> it's really a powerful thing. That's why I decided to, uh, to coordinate with it and uh, ask it to create me some slides about this, uh, about this topic. So, um, so here is a concourse uh, running on my uh, machine, and uh, further slides will be uh, provided from this concourse. Uh, and on the f now uh, I will describe you uh, features uh, that are most important personally for me, and uh, it is hard to decouple uh, 
one it is hard to decouple these features uh, and make a list uh, groups because all of, all of these features uh, influence each other and maybe the list will be not so right for somebody so first of all uh, i i want to admit that there is uh, uh, there is a, a doc documentation ab update. So when I started to work with uh, to work with uh, docs uh, to work with Wash, uh, there were no good documentations. And uh, the one documentation you had uh, was source codes. And after that, uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, updates. Uh, are located in uh, manifest. Manifest is like the soul of all Bosch deployment, and lots of uh, new features are added to it. And <clears throat> there is a list. Uh, it is incomplete, but still, uh, the main feature for me here is better naming. So it is sometimes it's hard to to explain people why we have these jobs and so on and there are much more clear abstractions that people can get something like clusters and uh, and so on. So at this moment, uh, work uh, work is in progress and in future we ha will have better manifests and. Another cool, uh, another another great feature here is uh, cloud config. So uh, you you already heard about and heard about it many many times and just repeating that uh, cloud config helps you to separate your de uh, your infrastructure de uh, dependencies uh, from your manif your manifests and uh, and it's quite amazing. So you can have. Uh, one uh, one file for every infrastructure you deploy. Uh, if you take a look on the how Concourse is implemented and how Concourse Bosch release uh, is made, uh, you'll find this stuff there, and it's quite amazing. And I like Concourse also because it has a lot of uh, really many uh, new features from all over, from different technologies, including Bosch, first of all. Uh, then you heard many times here about uh, links, uh, and these links uh, will work as relations between, uh, between uh, jobs deployed with releases. So uh, this kind of bring us on the level of abstraction when we'll have when we'll be able to point take this job and connect with this job and you forget about uh, IP messing with IP addresses and uh, putting the, in them in manifest uh, many different uh, updates are here and this will uh, this will allow us to this will allow Bosch to uh, get rid of uh, of necess uh, necessity to use SPIF, for instance, for using for running networks, for creating IP addresses, and so on. So it's quite a good news. Uh, so this one news is the greatest one for my mind because you know sometimes uh, sometimes uh, there is. Uh, there is such tortures uh, by manifests when you have manifest with 5,000 lines and you understand that uh, guns don't kill people, uh, manifests kill people. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> also global networking is here and uh, partly it is in release with links. So with global networking, you don't need, uh, you don't need to have uh, IP addresses in your jobs. Uh, Bosch director will take care about all of this stuff. So you, 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 you can sit and relax. So, but uh, to connect uh, to 
releases uh, to jobs, you'll need to have, you'll need to have uh, these links in these releases and uh, they will provide a mechanism how one job will figure out uh, about uh, how it can connect to another jo job. Another thing I wanted to mention is compiled releases here. Uh, that's like a great feature and uh, it allow us to reduce time of deployment in many times, but simply not compiling everything in the second time. And uh, I also liked Bosch I.O. Uh, site uh, with, uh, with uh, the list of available releases and it kind of the place where you should go uh, every time you, not, you, need, you need to deploy something new. So uh, changes uh, with stem cells. Uh, in stem cell uh, was, uh, for, in, in, in the very beginning, building stem cells, new stem cells was uh, quite a bit hard just because you didn't uh, know the whole process. And now there are uh, stem cell pipelines where you can look and figure out how this, uh, how this works. Uh, how you, you even uh, can, you still need to fork uh, these CIA pipelines to be able to update them, but and you, you can't create your uh, own asset and li like like you can do with CPI, for instance. But still, it is it is a good move forward. Also, the great feature here is uh, possibility of using add-ons. Add-ons uh, are much the same as releases and. Uh, the one thing is here you can uh, not use it in every release. You can just uh, uh, declare them with uh, stem cell and it will appear in every stem cell. So if you have some agents that should be on every uh, virtual machine with, uh, uh, with this stem cell, they will be there. Um, there are lots of other features I'm excited about. Uh, when Bosch init appeared, it was like uh, like a lightning, and uh, it, the hap happy time began. So now we have external CPI, and it is really, really easy, much more easier to create new CPIs. I'm not t telling you that it is easier because you you need to consider different, uh, yeah, on on on. Okay. They, they went to go to, to watch on this talk. That's great. I, I, I really like this talk because uh, it has such solid uh, view and perspective on uh, where we should go and where com community and pivotal should appear. Th that's kind of amazing thing because uh, such high levels uh, view is not always uh, it, it, not, it is not always pub, so public. So another cool feature uh, that uh, make our security guys happy uh, was uh, UA, UA integration. So now Bosch can work with, work with all stuff that, uh, that is provided by UA, so you can connect with LDAP and so, and so on. Also, uh, there is such thing as dynamic provisioning, and this is like an idea uh, that Bosch uh, will be used as a service in Cloud Foundry. So Bosch will become service, and whenever you run uh, create service, uh, it, uh, it will go to Bosch and tell it to deploy cluster. And you have, will have lots of clusters separated without any interference between them and it's kind of great stuff because there are lots of products that don't have multi-tenancy in them and this is kind of the one solution for them. So I know so that there, is, there will be lunch here so I will not, uh, I will not take your time because I, I guess you're quite of uh, starving now. 
I, I'm, just, I, I'm just from lobby having a stake there in pair programming. So th th this, these two, two, two things that should go to the, together, stakes and pair programming. And I, I'm not so <laughs> stubborn as you, so, so that's it. And thank you for, for this opportunity to talk to you.